Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to this interdisciplinary conference, treading the path to human rights, gender, substance use, and welfare states. We'd like to begin this conference with an opening speech from our Minister of Health, Willem Thor Thorsson. You can take the floor. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Chair, and uh, yeah, good morning, everyone, dear guests. It's it's an honor to welcome you to this important conference today, uh, which I I have to say, tell you that we support uh, in my ministry. Uh, not only by heart. This is so important. Where uh, passionate individuals, I look over the room here, have come together to turn their ideas into reality through collaboration and forward thinking. Uh, the ambitious two-day program truly reflects the dedication of the organizers. And the Ministry of Health has provided financial support for the conference in December 2022, wrote in, received one of the grants awarded to NGOs, non-governmental uh, organizations, for projects addressing substance use and related issues in Iceland. This interdisciplinary conference addresses a highly relevant topic. We are grateful indeed to all who have made the discussion on current policy and services for substance uses possible in Iceland with a focus on human rights, gender and welfare state uh, develop developments in uh, Europe. Uh, dear guests, Yes, there is a growing awareness of the need to protect human rights. In the context of substance use, I think we can all agree on that. At least hope. International human rights frameworks including the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, advocate for the rights to health, access to treatment and support, and freedom from discrimination. European countries are striving to align their policies and services with these principles. The specific needs and challenges faced by women who use substances are increasingly recognized. Research indicates that women may encounter unique obstacles, including stigma, trauma, and gender-based violence. Efforts should be made to develop gender-responsive policies and services that address these issues and provide tailored support for women. Iceland has made significant <coughs> contribution to this field. Christine e. Paustotir, the managing director of Rotin, actively collaborated with a group that authored the handbook Implementing a Gender Approach in Drug Policies, Prevention, Treatment, and Criminal Justice. And this was published in April 2022. In closing, I would like to express my gratitude. Yes, there are many things I would like to say, have to say here today, having this opportunity, which I'm so grateful for being with you here today. But my gratitude to all of you for joining us at this vital conference. 
Let us make the most of the next two days, sharing insights and collaborating to further our common goal of improving policies and services in the realm of substance use. Together, we can make a meaningful difference in the lives of those we serve. It is truly important to recognize that welfare states in Europe are currently undergoing changes and reforms that significantly impact policies and services for people who use substances. As we embark on this, these discussions, keep this evolving landscape in mind. Uh, finally, I just want to say thank you for your dedication and contributions to this important course and enjoy the next two days. Thank you.